What I find with anger is that anger is this, is, is this emotion that most of us at some point in our lives, and to be frank, most of us on a daily basis feel anger at some time. The problem is, is that the majority of times we don't recognise it or we just see it as like a mild annoyance or just a little frustration or a little irritation here and there that we have a tendency, particularly if we've been on spiritual paths, whether they be Christian or other religious basis or New Age, there is this tendency that we have to actually overlook the anger that we're actually feeling. The reason why that often happens is because we are so ingrained in this idea that anger means you're not spiritual, or anger means that you're not connected with God, or anger is wrong. Now, while it is true that anger is a very damaging emotion, and can be a very damaging emotion, particularly if it's held on to, the expression of anger is something that's a natural thing based on the deeper things that we choose to suppress. So for that reason, anger is a really good guide into your deeper emotions. Every single time you feel angry, frustrated, annoyed, or any of these even slightly slight annoyance, or slight irritation even, there is usually a huge emotion under it that you're avoiding, and you're choosing to avoid it. And what I'd like to do today is illustrate how to actually dig underneath that, start allowing your anger to surface, and then start allowing what's underneath the surface. Because in a, in a lot of ways, your anger is also almost a gateway into these other emotions. And that's particularly the case if you had suppressed your anger when you were a child. Now, most of us have heavy suppressed anger from childhood. The reason why is that most of us, when we expressed our anger when we were children, what normally happened to us? You usually got a cloud over the ear, didn't you? Or you got something happened to you that was very painful. You might have got sent to your room. You might have got ostracised, punished. And there's lots of things that happen to little children in order to shut down their anger. Often we get ignored, like when we're angry. So. So I'm being angry as a child and then I'm getting ignored. What's that teaching me? I'm not going to get loved while I'm angry. I've got to stop being angry if I'm going to be loved. So there's a lot of hidden, in, hidden messages that come to a little child right from the time they're very, very young to, that causes them to suppress their anger and their rage. And unfortunately, there's usually a layer placed on top of their anger and their rage. So for a child, for example, let's say we're a child, uh, say a three or four year old child. At three or four years of age, we are almost the perfect reflection of what our parents are denying. So if, we, if our parents are having an emotion, let's say the parents are, have an emotion where they feel unloved. As a child, if I'm three or four years of age, I'll be perfectly reflecting that emotion. In other words, the child will be feeling unloved. And then what the child does is reflects that emotion due to, through the law of attraction back to the parent. So when the parent denies an emotion, the child acts out the emotion. And then what does the parent generally do? Punish the child for acting out its own, the parent's own emotion. Now how frustrating is that? If you got punished every single time, and this is what happened during your childhood, you got punished probably every single time you acted out one of your parents' emotions that they were trying to deny. And most of us grew up in this kind of environment. So here we are, trying to connect. We're, we're just the perfect little reflectors. We can't even help ourselves being a perfect reflector when we're so young like that. And instead of being allowed even to reflect the emotion back at our parent, the reflection is actually suppressed through punishment or through the parent's anger or through the parent's rejection or through... And that just bottles up huge amounts of emotions in us. And the only way to access those underlying emotions is going to be to go through the bottled up anger that's there as a child and into those other bottled up emotions that were before the anger even arose. So can you see that knowing how to and dealing with anger is going to be a very essential part of your own progression. Mm 